Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my eBay haul for uh, April 27th to April 29th. Uh, this is my haul from the library book sale. It's a combination of um, books and DVDs. Uh, I go on Saturday because that's the first full day of the sale. You can go on Friday night, but it, it costs a a lot of money to get in there on Friday night so I don't bother going on Friday and Saturday I think you can also pay like an extra 20 bucks to get in the door two hours early but it's just not worth it for me so um, I hit it on Saturday around 1030 ish it opens at 10 and I didn't come home with very much at all uh, on Saturday but then I went back on Monday for the bag sale where they double up paper bags and they hand them to you and you can fill them to the brim for five bucks so I spent ten bucks there so I think I spent a total of thirty dollars and I will make probably a few hundred dollars from this haul so I'm really happy about that so let me go through these quick because I know that some of you you know aren't really excited about the whole book thing but uh, I hit the Bible section first because um, that's always been pretty profitable for me. But I didn't want to get anything kind of ordinary. I figured I would wait until Monday for all those if they were still there. So I only bought one as opposed to last year when I bought like 10. So the only one I found was this one called the Upper Room Companion Bible. I've never heard of this one before. Um, classic reference edition it has this little pocket here and I don't know what this thing is for I don't know if there was a disc in there or something it doesn't look like it maybe just to put your own personal stuff in there um, has one little mark there but the rest of it is nice and clean these are up there for like 60 or 70 I think so I'm gonna try and get 50 out of that I paid two bucks and then the only other thing that I bought on um, Saturday. Oh, that's not true, actually. I did spend a little more than $30 because I bought a few hardcover Wimpy Kid books because I had almost a whole set or close to a whole set of them. And I needed, I think it was seven and nine. So I got those. And I also needed... I got the movie diary and the do-it-yourself book which is always a pain because the do-it-yourself book is kind of a thing where it's like a journal type thing so it's hard to find a clean one but I actually did manage to find a clean one of those so I bought those um, and then the only other one I had to buy which I bought uh, on eBay for three or four dollars was number 11 so now I have 14 Wimpy Kid hardcover books to sell books 1 through 12 plus the movie diary and the do-it-yourself book and those should get um, probably 60. Oh, this phone is going to drive me insane. It's just constant, constant, constant telemarketers. It's ridiculous. Okay, so um, got the Wimpy Kid books and then uh, I checked the manga section, which was pretty depleted by the time I got there. I figured all the, the serious people who had gone there Friday night or early Saturday morning had pretty much cleaned that section out. But I was able to find one entire set. There are nine of them here. This um, series is called number six. There are nine in the series, so I got the whole set uh, for 18 bucks and... This should sell very easily for 50 So then I went back on Monday. I made sure I had one of my big Marshalls bags that I could put the paper bag into so that I could drag it around behind me because I knew how heavy it was going to get. The next day my shoulders were just killing me <laughs> and my arms from carrying and dragging these bags all over the place. Um, the first section that I always go to at the bag sale is there's a collector's corner in the back. That's where they have all their uh, Easton Press, uh, all their big art books, 
uh, high-end coffee table books, that kind of stuff. So that's where I went because even those are, you know, included in the bag sale, which I think is crazy. But they are. So for these all averaged out, what you're going to see now to about 20 cents a piece. Uh, I got this one called an Island Garden by Celia Thaxter. It comes in this slipcase. Really pretty book. And has really pretty um, color plates in it. And I think I can get I think around 15 for that. Then I got one more Bible. That was it. Those were the only two Bibles I bought. I didn't even buy any more Bibles in the Bible section. It was just not good this year. But this time I got this Life Application Study Bible in the collector's section. Large print, which is always good. Um, the acetate here is a little broken, but that's okay. Should be able to get about uh, 45 on that, plus medium mail shipping. Then... This one's not worth too much, but I just love the Muppets, so I had to have it. This is Jim Henson, The Works, The Art, Magic, The Art, The Magic, The Imagination. Like I said, 20 cents, should be able to get about 10 to 15 plus shipping out of that. And it has some of my favorites in there. Grover is my favorite from Sesame Street, and Beaker is my favorite from the regular Muppets. Uh, and Pepe the King Prawn. I love him. So, <laughs> all right, moving on. I did find also in the collector section this baby's memory book, and I do like to sell vintage baby books. They always do really well for me. Um, I sold, found a couple of them last year, and I sold them really quick. This one is neat because it's a pop up has all these little pop-ups in it which I thought were just adorable um, and then a little envelope to put something in but I couldn't pass that up for 20 cents should be able to get um, I'm gonna say 15 to 20 with plus shipping on that then the big honking like coffee table books this one's probably not worth a whole lot, but I just thought it was cool. So that's why I picked it up, because I really just wanted to look at it myself, and then I'll probably resell it. But it's called uh, Shop America Mid-Century Storefront Design from 1938 to 1950. It's just got all these retro images in it that I just love. So had to have it might get I don't know maybe 15 on that and then these were my two best finds in the collector section this one's called the etchings of Frank Brangwin um, they had a hundred dollar price tag on this so on Sunday it would have been 50 still no takers but it's in really good shape and these go for about uh, 75 200 on eBay. And then this one, which is really heavy, is called, now I can't pronounce this guy's name. His first name is E-Y-V-I-N-D. I'm going to say Ivind, Ivind Earl. Never heard of him before, but I mean, there's some amazing artwork in here really pretty this they also had I believe a hundred dollar price tag on and this also sells pretty consistently on eBay um, for around a hundred I might put it a little lower since I only paid 20 cents just to get rid of it quicker because it's a big heavy piece that I really don't want living in my house forever so that's it for the books. I didn't buy a whole lot of books this time around, um, but then I did scrounge through the DVDs for about an hour and looked up a bunch of stuff on my phone and was pleasantly surprised by a few things. 
this I pretty much this is the only CD I bought and I pretty much just bought this <laughs> for myself probably I might resell it at one point but um, this is 50 all-time favorite TV themes I love TV theme songs so had to get this one probably play that in my car um, I got a whole big lot of Red Skelton DVDs. These were scattered throughout the DVD section and the DVD section is enormous so you really really have to look if you want to find things that kind of go together because they don't necessarily put sets or similar um, subjects together which is kind of frustrating. Either that or they just get mixed up by the time the bag sale comes along. So I got one, uh, two, three, Four, five sets of those. I can probably sell those for. I'm gonna say at a minimum, I would say 20. With um, plus shipping, 15 to 20, I think. Then this set is kind of a mixed bag of country DVDs. Uh, these are from the Legendary Performances line. I got Merle Haggard and Tammy Wynette from that. Then I got a bunch of these I wish that doesn't go there. A bunch of these Country Legends Live and these are uh, Time Life DVDs which are always good to look for. So I got uh, four of those. I think there's supposed to be like seven or eight in the series but I got four. Then this is also from Time Life um, Opry Video Classics Love Songs and Legends, and then a tribute to Chet Atkins. So I figured even though it's kind of a mixed bag, it's all country themed and hoping to get, I don't know, anywhere from maybe 25 to 40 from that. And then this one I just picked up because um, I figured nostalgia value somebody would want it. This is uh, Hope for the Holidays, you know, Bob Hope specials. Maybe, maybe five to ten plus shipping on that. Then this one, um, I know soccer is really big around here, and our friend's um, son is really into it and plays in all kinds of tournaments and stuff. So this is a, a Pele, the Master and His Methods soccer training program. Figured I could get about, I think they're going for about 10 plus shipping on eBay. Then I got 10 minute trainer, which has five workouts in it. I think I should be able to get about 10 on this. Um, I own this by the way, and it's fantastic when you don't have a lot of time or you just want to break your workouts up during the day and just do 10 minutes here and 10 minutes there. It really does feel like you did a lot. Then this one I was surprised about. This is Extend Bar Lean and Chiseled and it doesn't really look like much but I looked them up on eBay and I think they're going for like, uh, I checked these prices like two weeks ago but if I remember correctly like our average around 15. So I was really surprised about that. Then this one I can't find anywhere but um, I've sold videos before uh, about uh, like physical therapy for your knees or your ankles and stuff like that and did pretty well on them. So I got this carpal tunnel DVD. Figure I can probably get about 10 out of it. And then my best find in the DVD section that I wanted to share with you guys are these. These were scattered all over the place um, and I, I just happened to find hopefully all three of them that were left there. But these are called Les Mills Body Pump and there's all different numbers of them. I don't know if they go from one up all the way up to in the 90s or, or what but um, I got 82, 91 and 95. Unfortunately they don't, none of them have, there's supposed to be books that go in here. None of them have the books, but all of them have all the discs that go in them. And these, surprisingly, now I don't know because mine don't have the books, but 
surprisingly, they can go anywhere from like 20 to probably 20 without the books, maybe a little bit more, but up to like 50, 60, 70 dollars for one single DVD. It's insane. So if you guys ever see these when you're out and about, don't hesitate to pick them up um, with or without the books. So I'm probably going to start these at auction maybe for like 25 a piece and see where they go since they don't have the books with them but I was really happy about that that's a great profit off of 20 cents a piece so that's it guys this is the short one for today I was trying to keep it short and sweet since this was all books and it's not that exciting but I will be back again with another regular rummage sale this particular day I went to three in one day it was meh it was okay. I've had better luck in the past at these places, but you know, that's the way it goes. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.